Yeah, hey everybody, Brian with you from the Game Common, and we are playing more Civ 6. We're starting a brand new series today as Alexander. So yesterday we finished off Congo, and at the end of the episode, we randomed with the remaining Civs we've yet to play as that we're trying to get through before Gathering Storm, and we ended up with Alexander. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Before we get into it, though, let's double check on our mods. So the only mods we have on are CQUI, uh, Quick Start, uh, show yield icons and yet another map pack. They should all be in the description below if you want to play our maps uh, Our map seed and then we're playing with all of the content as well. So, um, let's first Let's go shut off Sean Bean Okay and then we're gonna create a new game. We're gonna be playing as Alexander. Now, when we've been doing live streams recently, we're gonna stick with the small map simply because uh, we would like to um, get through the game as quick as possible because we're trying to get through all these civs. So that's why we're doing small. Once Gathering Storm comes out, we'll go back to standard. Um, so the question is, we've been adding an extra civ on our live streams recently to make it a little more difficult because we've been cruising recently. That being said, Alexander most likely is gonna be a domination victory. And we'll probably end up swapping it a little later in the game to more of a, uh, like, we'll do domination. We'll probably end up with a science victory or a culture victory, um, depending on kind of how our Hellenistic fusion works out. Um, I just don't want to do a domination victory the whole way because it takes so long. Uh, either way, I think let's keep it with standard number of leaders only because I don't want this game lagging out. And the problem with domination is it tends to lag out because you just have so many units to move. So we're just going to avoid that for now. Uh, we want to bump up our difficulty to deity. Uh, we're going to play on Pangea. I'm trying to play maps that we've not played as recently. And I've mostly been like Fractal and Shuffle recently. Uh, and we did the Island Plates and all that kind of stuff. So now we'll do Pangea, which will be great for uh, Domination Victory. Small, Standard, Standard, Standard. Um, start, uh, we want just to balance, even though I'm pretty sure this really doesn't do anything. <laughs> I think maybe it does. I don't know. I feel like it doesn't really matter. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's go launch, start game. So, uh, how does uh, Alexander work? Well, uh, he's got two abilities. Uh, to the world's end, cities do not incur war weariness. All military units heal completely when this player captures a city with a world wonder. Uh, this is going to be great basically anytime we capture a capital, unless it's like super early game from the AI, we should heal all of our units across our entire empire. The downside is this is very conditional. <laughs> Most of the cities we're going to take aren't going to be aren't gonna have wonders in it so it you know every once in a while this might just absolutely save the game for you I, I feel it's a pretty conditional ability though and then we have the Hellenistic fusion which we uh, briefly touched on earlier we get a boost upon conquering a city that has an encampment or a campus uh, and then we get an inspiration for uh, any city that has a holy site or a theater square so let's begin game Mm, I don't know about the start. Uh, let's go ahead before we do that though and let's look at the rest of let's see Alexander's abilities. So uh, then he has two special units and we went through all this at the end of the Congo series so I'm sorry but uh, he's got the Hypocist. Dang it, we uh, I googled it before the video and then I forgot how to do it. Uh, Hypocist. wait H Y H Y P pronunciation. How to pronounce it? Mm, jump ahead. Hippaspis. 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 So it's a unique melee unit, replaces swordman, gets plus five combats, uh, strength when besieging, and gets an additional support bonus. Not particularly amazing. Um, it's going to be a little easier to conquer cities early game, but that's about it. Uh, and then he also gets the uh, Hitori, which don't show up as a unique unit, which I don't know why, but it's a unique heavy cavalry unit that replaces horsemen. Uh, gets plus five combat strength when killing an additional... Um, plus five combat strength when adjacent to a great general and five great general points when killing an enemy unit and gets a free promotion. And it upgrades to knight. Huh. That's interesting. So it's a horseman that actually upgrades to knight. That's, that's actually pretty nice. Because usually your horsemen are stuck to get cav. Uh, and then the other thing he gets is he also gets the palisades. Uh, wait. It's not, it's not palisades. Pades? Uh, whatever. Building unique. Uh, gets plus combat strength for melee range land units and Hathori trained in this city. Gain science equal to the unit's cost. Yeah, we'll probably end up doing a science victory after this. Okay. Well, let's look at our start. We have some hills over here, so immediately I think we should go over to the tobacco. Let's look south. We do have a river here. Um, and we could work this horse and these bananas right away, which is pretty nice. 
This is going to become a 2-1 that allows us to work a 3-1, 3-2, and then a 3-1. 4-1, I think, eventually. No, 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 no. Irrigation. Uh, sorry, sorry. This one gives you uh, uh, gold at first. Yeah, I think we're just going to go work the tobacco to begin with. And this is also the coast, it looks like, as well. Well, let's do this. There are mountains over there. I think we're going to go over here still. And that's a lake, not a coast. Meh. Meh. So yeah, we'll settle there next turn. Uh, losing one turn isn't that big of a deal. We could also settle on the cattle, which would then make us a 3-1. Whereas this one is going to be a 2-1-1. I think I would rather grow quicker, right? The nice thing about the tobacco is we could trade it off right away, though. Yeah, tobacco is one of the weaker ones, I think, to start with, but sure, sure. And we're actually working the 2-2 to begin with, which is great. So I want to pop out, uh, sorry, we're going to start with a slinger. So when I do domination victory, normally what we'll do is we will pop out archery as quick as possible, and then we'll go to swordsman as quick as possible. Although, honestly, there's something to be said about rushing out her Thorai. Do we need something for this? No, right? It also costs 100 production, where the Hypasis also costs 100, so they're equal. They're equal. They have equal melee strength. So this guy actually has less uh, melee strength than... Wait, the horse are 28? Horsemen? Or is it 38? Horsemen. I can't spell. They have 36. Okay, so it's the same. Where are we going? I don't know. Go away. <laughs> so these guys have the exact same combat strength. Uh, the the Hypasis is going to be easier if we're taking over cities. This guy is going to be easier... I think we're just going to rush out the Thorai. Because then we can just beeline knights after that and probably be in a really strong position. Now, question is, where is our barbarian encampment going to be? I'm going to guess this way, but we'll see. We'll see. We would like to get the slinger kill early on so we can boost uh, archery. And then you want to build a pasture. And we're going to have animal husbandry. We can build a pasture there. So we'll probably want to buy a builder with the tobacco we trade off. We'll go there. That's fine. Yeah, we might have guessed wrong. We might be over here. Oh, well. We're just going to kind of do a little bit of a loop. And let's go from there. You're going to take another five turns to grow. This is fine. We've actually made it like three turns and not met anyone. What? <laughs> five turns, actually. What? Uh, it feels like every one of my recent games, we have been completely surrounded. So, <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Poor Poland, man. Dude, how many times have I killed Poland? We have killed Poland a lot in this game. I feel like every time we do a domination victory or a domination start, we tend to start with Poland right next to us. Is that city one or two? Uh, make deal. That's two. Okay. This is probably a dumb idea. But getting that builder is going to allow me to get my cattle boost. And honestly, we can also then go grab the rice. Now, sure, she's going to do some damage to us. Whatever. Like, come on. Like, you can't really do anything to me. Um, also, too, we didn't meet anyone else. So we're not going to get any warmongering for that. And as you can see, her units are kind of far away, so I'm not too worried. Are you seriously, like, attacking me right now? Okay. Hopefully you don't, like, the the scout's not going to be able to kill my guy. My hope is actually, in fact, that uh, maybe we can kill you with the uh, uh, the the slinger. So let's get some warriors up because we'll want to get some defense. Dang it, you suicided. Hey, guess what? Our barbarians. I'm going to do this, but I'm pretty sure you're not going to hit my slinger. Usually they run away from slingers. We gotta be a little careful though, because uh, she might start bringing some units over our way. Um, all right, we want to get you inside the borders, just start healing you up. At least we got the river here in between us and her, but that means there's also an encampment somewhere over in this direction, probably. I am fond of pigs. Yeah, we gotta be a little Dogs careful here. We'll bring you back. Cats look down we do want to get this kill though, which pigs. is unfortunate. Treat you are going to now. Um, ooh, do we want to just do double cattle? Uh, I think so, actually, because this is just going to be more food, where the pasture is instead going to give us production. 
Yeah, plus one production. So I'd much rather have a 3-1 than a 4. Oopsie, sorry, bumping stuff. Okay, you go there. Still don't see her. Hmm, this is a bit of an awkward one. Alright, we got our next boost. We would like to get a slinger kill here pretty quickly, though. So... Okay. It's kind of a very passive start, but that's okay. And then, do we want to get a mine? Well, we can't, so we'll just go grab the other cattle. I think in the scheme of things, that's worth it, just to get the settler. Or, and by settler, I mean builder. <laughs> just get a couple of these things. Now, you know what we should have done? And I screwed that up. I should have traded... Yeah, I should have traded my resource with her. Because we could have taken a bunch of her money and then immediately peaced out. Or immediately declared war so she wouldn't have gotten access to it. Now, it's a little on the cheap side, but, At you know. Best, man is the noblest of all animals. Separated from law and justice. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to go craftsmanship so we can get uh, production on units. Um, give, me, give me the faith in gold. Actually, we're already getting the faith per turn, aren't we? Yeah, we're already getting faith per turn, so give me the production then, so we can pop out more units a little quicker. Although the extra gold might not be the worst thing in the world here, because we're going to start spending money here uh, on unit upkeep. Okay, you're at full HP, you're also at full HP. And we're going to move in, and hopefully we can find a quick, easy unit to kill. Might be able to even conquer Poznan. We'll see how it works. Aha! So something like that. Go something like that. Um, the idea is to bait the kill here. There is a chance. I'm debating about putting our person, our warrior particularly, in the grasslands. You can't enter the grasslands now, because that's an extra move. So you will probably attack out uh, at me, which is good, because... Um, we'll get the plus three plus a little bit of the fortification. So this is going to be about an even fight if you attack. Or you could go there. And then the goal is for us to be able to kill you. We need one more turn here. Okay, let's do this. And this. And give me another warrior. And you're going to attack someone. But you're at low enough HP. It shouldn't matter. Even with the negative three. You little punk. You weren't supposed to run away. You heal up. You go here. You are now... Yeah, you can't attack because we got uh, area control here going. Now, a little worried about this. That should be fine. And then we get the kill here. We lost one turn. That's okay. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, you go back here, and let's get some archers going. Now, with these early archers, we should just be able to completely dominate. Yep. Yeah, this is going to be domination now. We would like to meet someone else, though, and I'll probably send this warrior out west because we'd like to trade her tobacco. She wants to make peace because she knows immediately she's dead. <laughs> ah, feels good. Feels good. Feels good. Feels good. Feels freaking good. All right, you heal. You heal. We good. We good. We're boosted. This actually went really well for us. This this worked out really, really, really well for us. Okay. Strong start. Strong start. Now, you guys are both healed up. She is also facing an invasion from horsemen right now. Hmm. Interesting. You want to not attack me? Poznan should fall. It shouldn't be a problem. Now, the downside is we are paying upkeep costs for these archers. Um, I still think we send you out because, as I said before, we'd like to meet someone else. Um, give me another warrior. There's nothing we can do to improve our uh, gold income right now. So, now. Well, we gotta do this. It's unfortunate. Freaking barbarians, man. <laughs> Freaking barbarians. Uh, can we get uh, the god of production for early units? Where is it? Uh, did someone already grab it? I swear, did you grab it already? Are you kidding me? Freaking heck. 
Man! Oh, that pisses me off. Yeah, that pisses me off a little bit. Hmm. That would have been so good for us. So freaking good for us. And we, we, oh, man. How did you get enough freaking faith that quickly? God, maybe we should have grabbed the faith one. Maybe we should have. Fishing boats isn't going to do anything for us. Plus one food from camps. These are, uh, pastures. And we do have horses down here. We need to get a second city going here, too. That's a whole other thing. Um, production towards strategic resources. We don't know where any of those are yet, so that may just be bad. Actually, no, we do. We do, and we don't have any iron again. No, 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 never mind, never mind, never mind. I was like, seriously? How many games in a row are we going to run into not having it? Uh, holy sites, whatever, amenities. So I'm thinking, honestly, Divine Spark. Poland's not getting a religion. You have a religion. <clears throat> the reason I was thinking Divine Spark is it's potential for us to get that fourth religion. If we get that fourth religion, we could switch over to religious gameplay. Then again, that's really weak. It is kind of weak. Uh, how much chop do we have? We have a decent number of chop, but getting extra faith... <laughs> the problem with the... the okay. Uh, lots and lots and lots of people love the chop one. Where is it at? So it's every time you chop, you get faith from it. I can't see it. The thing is, I don't know if that really works for us right now, because it's only going to be helpful if we have either the religion that allows us to get units from faith, or we have the, um, we have the, blah, the effect from the era score that allows us to do that. And both of those seem so conditional. I think I'd rather just take a passive. Like, plus one culture? I think we're going to just take the culture. Increase healing in your holy sites. Nah, board expansion, higher. City growth rate, 10% higher. Production towards cities without a special district. Getting our first district up early seems pretty nice. Because we can get our encampments up. Marsh, oasis, and floodplains. That seems just terrible. Why would anyone grab that? Uh, you know what? I'm just going to grab the culture. I'm just going to grab the extra culture. So there's an extra two culture for us right away. It doesn't seem like a lot, but, you know. Well, we're not doing a culture victory then. <laughs> uh, of course we meet Russia is immediately after we pick that. Immediately after we pick that. So you're, you're, you're going to come here and kill this guy. You're going to heal up. Is he going to suicide into me? Maybe. I actually don't know if he will or not. We'll get you over here, and we're going to start shooting. And, no and Gondi, too. Nice. Honor to meet you. Exchanging capitals is a great idea. Let's go ahead and send out our delegations. The problem is, this is going to put us a little short in cash. Exactly. Um... How's Gandhi doing? Gandhi's not gonna like us because we're at war. Right? Gandhi doesn't like people who fight. He hates warmongers. And honestly, we're probably gonna end up conquering him. Well, let's see. Who's gonna give me more for now? You're gonna give me like 250? 220? Okay, so he'll give 220. Can we get more from you, Gandhi? No, because you actually already have it. All right, well, that makes it easy then. Hi, give me my 220 back, please. 220. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> I was like, why won't you just give me 220 gold? Come on, dude, what's up? And then we have to get a settler out here, ASAP. So after this, go build me a settler. We shouldn't need another unit. Um, I'm okay with this, because I don't think we'll be at war with Russia. Gandhi actually likes us right now. I'm oh, not a little weird. Okay, uh, give me promotion. You heal. You shoot. You shoot. We could siege down the city, perhaps? Actually, I don't know if we could siege the city. We'd have to get a unit here. Maybe put our archer there. I think we'll just keep shooting it until we get this other warrior. Oh, that's Jerusalem. Oh, hi. Okay. 
We still have a lot of room to grow, too. To expand. Okay. Okay. I'm feeling good. And now. What happened to her units? She's down to 67. I have no idea what happened to her units right now, but she is in a very bad spot. We're going to try sieging the city. Also, it's giving us a nice little XP, too, so I'm cool with it. Hey, there's our encampment and a goodie hut. Nice, 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 nice. Thank you, Jerusalem, for killing off this guy. Um, you can't get there anyway, so let's go here and get a little more vision. You got a level. You both have a level, and we are currently sieging down the city. Positive's going to be ours. Yeah, all right. Uh, unfortunately, no districts here, so... <laughs> Dang it. Are we going to hold on to it? Probably. Yeah, I think so. I don't think there's any reason not to. Could we take it right now? Maybe. But we're just going to go push her and kill her. By the way, let's get our friendship going. Because I'm pretty sure these guys are going to start hating us here. Also, piss the freaking heck off. And we're going to attack with this one. And we're going to put you here. 14 turns. That's, um... That's fine. That's fine. That's enough turns probably for us to go Kate, uh, take her other city. Uh, she still has uh, two more cities. Well, three more cities, actually. Wait, how'd she get the extra city? What? Oh, no, that was just seed. No, because we shouldn't be able to see her capital. We can't see her capital. So she got another city then. So she has four cities total. Well, three now. All right, perfect. So I think what happened is she probably uh, had uh, the barbarian invasion that wrecked her troops. And now we're just taking advantage of the situation. Boom. <laughs> uh, give me the production towards the cavalry units, which is going to be wonderful here in 14 turns. Um, I'm going to grab production in all cities and barbarians is probably still our best bet. Because we're not going to produce out any more melee units. I think at this point we probably go focus on cities. And I'm wondering if our two dudes are enough to take the next city or if we need this third guy. Maybe. Maybe. Get the monument repairing. Um, I already looked at that. Okay, we're off to a great spot. I'm saying no to Gandhi because we're already his friend, number one. Number two, I actually thought Gandhi was right here, so we were planning on declaring on him probably next. Although, I don't think that's necessary anymore. We'll see. You just need to heal up, and you have a promotion now. 13 turns. This city might end up flipping. Think I can take her next city in 13 turns? I'm assuming this is the capital, by the way. Alright, how do we want to do this? We want you to move out. Are you at full HP? You are. So you go here. There, shoot. There, shoot. And then finish off. Yeah, there's the capital. We would like to get these guys. Now, the thing is, we do want to upgrade them. Yeah, maybe we should wait a turn. We can't get through this way. All right, you're going to come this way. Yeah, I think I need you. The Pantanal Ooh, is the most complex hello. tropical. That changes things a little bit for our next city. Yeah, that definitely changes things a bit. And we have no loyalty pressure at all over here still. So I think our second city is going to go over here. Okay, that's actually good. We talked about putting it down here. But yeah, we already have a warrior that way. Let's do it. I think I do need to upgrade both of these guys just so they can get XP as we shoot the city. The downside is it wastes a turn. But I think that's going to be fine. Put you here. What? Um, she's at 72. So she still has some units, but not a lot. We'll put you here, and then we're going to upgrade you. You won't be able to come out at me. Or at least you're not going to be able to hit me. Then we'll move you here. And volley as well. I wish we could move you past, but that's fine. Uh, and we can move you past next turn. Then we'll probably move you here, get the surround going. Although, because of the lake tile, I don't know if we can get the surround, right? Which doesn't really matter, because our archers are going to wreck it. Although, unfortunately, she does have a warrior in the city. Yeah, she does have a warrior in the city, so it has a little bit higher uh, defense. 
So it's gonna be a little slower. But once we take the capital, we shouldn't have to worry about pausing and flipping, I don't think. And I do want to kill you. For protection. Okay, we are off to a killer start now at this point. Mm, I have to leave you there. Yeah, because we got this extra warrior. How do we want to do this, then? Because we want to shoot you, if at all possible. Hmm. And I'm pretty sure we can't uh, siege the city down ever. Calm down. Calm down. So I'm trying to think the best way to do this. Well, that's unfortunate. And this is where the AI gets stupid, ridiculous bonuses. Um, so we did do a little extra damage to the city. It's just like, look at how crap damage this is right now. So we need a third archer is what we need. 240. Yeah, let's go here. We would like to get over here. So honestly, I'm tempted to put um, maybe even up here. Maybe on the cattle. Because we also want another city over here by the horsies. Maybe we should put one here just to be safe. I don't know. So uh, I should have bought. Why didn't I buy the archer here, Brian? Dang it. Urgh, that was dumb. We could have had an archer in next turn. So three archers are going to be able to shoot the city down a little quicker, which is kind of the whole thought process. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I don't know. Grab a builder now at this point, and let's start improving some of the stuff. We can't really afford. Yeah, calm down. We knew this was going to happen. We knew that you were going to hurt me. That's eat man. You know what's crazy about that? Now, he might actually attack out, but you were actually fortified up. You might double attack, which is going to hurt. We're doing no damage to the city right now, which is why we need the third archer. And Pazin's going to flip in two turns. And I don't know if there's anything we can do about it. So do we want to piece her out? This is my thoughts. I don't know if we're going to be able to take Krakow. And eight turns once we get a Torai, we will. But we're going to have to spend some turns building them out. So it might just be better for us just to pass. Now, Poznan is a problem because obviously we're going to lose the city here. And so then maybe we should just use all our troops to hold on to that city as long as possible. You know, it's going to keep flipping back and forth, but whatever. Right? And then once we get a Hattori, we can just put ourselves in position and get our extra archer over here. Yeah, I think let's do that. Because here's the other thing. We can make just a bunch of cash off her right now. Seed the city. She won't give me all of it. Will you give me that? See, I would rather be making max money versus an amenity we don't really need. Okay, so that's 140 gold plus another 12 gold. Um, I'm gonna take your city. That's fine. We now have a little bit of an issue. Here. But that's also gonna be okay. Get you over here. Because he's gonna spawn out with a couple of units, but we should be able to take pause in really easy. The downside is the city's just gonna keep constantly flipping. Um, military tradition also too didn't give us a governor. <laughs> Which, you know, is bad as well, but that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Now, we are safe. So, let's get you coming over here. Put you here. And now, really, it's do I want to grab this? I think the answer is yes, because I don't know where anyone else is. The other question in is there might be a better city location. You know what? Screw it. Let's just put a city here. Yeah, let's just get our city going down right here. And I think we're just going to go settle on the sugar. It's going to be a 4-1, maybe a 3-1. Yeah, I think we're just going to sit on the sugar and be done with it. Okay, okay. Let's get you going up here. 
let's get you prepared and we have one extra turn so we can get our units in position so i'll probably put you there um i guess we're gonna put you inside the marsh which is not a great idea because his units will spawn and be able to hit us i guess we can put you in the farm can't we i don't underrate the value of military yeah, so let's swap let's put you there i am put you there in the forest just so you're a little more protected then you're gonna be able to get over here in a turn or so Hi, Tamar. Change of plans? I think so. Yeah, I think we need to go settle over here. Uh, hey, delegation, please. Okay. We're friendly with everyone except Poland, who, well, we declared a war on her, so. <laughs> Probably was never going to stay friendly with her. All right, city's going to flip. This sucks. Uh, give me the production towards Cav. And give me one production all cities. We could also take great general points, but we're going to get probably a decent amount of great general points here that I'm not too worried about. I think I'd rather still just have the production in all cities. Okay, let's do this. She's building out more units. Not that big of a deal. Did you not flip? What? Oh, you kicked me out. Uh, See, I don't really want to be right here. Whatever, you'll heal. You'll heal. Fortify. Fortify. Yeah, we actually got... Oh, it's not... What? Taking a couple extra turns now. Oh, Pella maybe I guess got bigger? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. All right, so we need to get to that cattle. So we got another five turns now. You know what? Your delegation is most welcome because I think Poland's going to be next. It looks like Poland's going to be next. Yo, can you get out of the freaking way, dude? We're going to do something like this so we can have the city surrounded. Probably end up putting you right there. Okay. You just fortify there. And we need you to move, dude. Thank you. Thank you. And settle on the cattle. And you just fortify up. We got our first builder. So let's start getting some farms. Well, technically our third builder, but whatever. <laughs> uh, analogy irrigation. Sweet. And that also should have given us the boost, the three. Uh, I think that was this one, right? Build three things. Oh, well. Oh, well. That's okay. What are we going to do with your other ones? We settled over here on the cattle, so you stayed at 3-1. I think we go buy probably the bananas or the sheep. Probably the sheep to begin with. We're making decent cash right now. I think we're going to do that. I think I'm going to go have you work on the sheep. Make it a 2-3. Also, two, getting some builds over here is probably not the worst thing either. Um, now, that was enough money that we could have bought another archer, but eh. It's fine. It's fine. And we have, uh, let's see, three turns. So start with a settler, and then we're just going to go super, super freaking heavy into our Hathori. Okay, and we probably got to wrap this episode up here too, don't we? Uh, that was not my timer. Oh yeah, we're at 33 minutes. So, okay, we're going to wrap this first episode up here. Things are going well. We're in a bit of an interesting spot. A um, little awkward, only because we weren't able to take over uh, the rest of Poland. And the fact is that this town's going to flip. Uh, we will be able to grab it right back, though. It's not going to be that big of a deal. And I think once we start getting out of Hathorai, we're going to be in a fine spot. Um, the other thing is, after the Hathorai, we might want to grab sailing. <sighs> Man, we'd have to get up to shipbuilding. I want a freaking blockade. Karakau. But this is 36 melee strength. Considering we were trying to attack the city with the 20, I think the 36 is going to be a little bit better. Um, I think we should have no problem just absolutely dominating. Uh, are we getting great general points just by chance? Probably not yet. No. No. But maybe someday soon. So anyways, since it's a, a first episode of a series, any support you guys can show it is awesome. So hit the like button, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, and show your support. I'll see you guys next episode. Later, everyone.